being in a relationship with me is not for the faint of heart. I keep maggots and flies in my refrigerator. I have worm. Bruh. Yo. My y'all. And beetles in my living room. Uh, keep a container full of crickets. I have two different kinds of roaches. Bro, what? I have isopods, a snake, and a couple thousand spiders and four lizards. Are you coming over? No. <laughs> I guess I gotta ask the question. Fellas, be honest. How many of y'all going over there? I'm good. I ain't trusting no like that. She might fuck around and have a tracker roach over there. You get them cheeks, now the roaches are following you wherever you go. And she know exactly where you at at all time. This right here is villain. This is villainous behavior. Uh, what's the lady from Batman? Poison Ivy behavior. Just with animals. <laughs> Not even animals. Insects. Critters. She's the critter whisperer. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos. That still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now, we almost at 100K, man. We almost at 100K. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. If you lie on your dating application, that's an automatic termination. Hey, ladies, listen. This is a new mantra for the summertime. Because when I say these people will cosplay right in your face, and when I say these people, I mean men. Very specifically, I mean the men folk will cosplay right in your face and play and act like they're what you want and what you need in order to get you. They're just trying to get you, baby. And listen, on me, on my mama, like, listen, <laughs> once I find out, you're done. It's a wrap for you, baby. If you're a grown-ass man taking part in catfish activities, you should be ashamed of yourself. It is a wrap for you, honey. Immediate termination. Because now I can't believe anything about you. You faked all this time just to get me. Now I'm seeing your true colors. I don't believe nothing you got to say. Honestly, you're an actor. Honey, you are an actor. You need an Oscar. You need a Golden Globe, honey. Because there's no way. I don't even believe your mom is your real mama because you've been lying. I can't believe nothing you say. It's a wrap. No. Immediate termination. Immediate. I want to see, like, what she considered to be lying and, and fake. Because if you have a female that's a gold digger, I don't blame a for acting like he getting money just, just so he could take it down. Where I have a problem is when you actually have a woman that's trying to find love and you fake like you a good you fake like you don't come with baggages, you fake like you're not a narcissist. But at the end of the day, if you're a narcissist, then that's in your character trait anyway. Pinky back in the day is not the same Pinky. No, from Pinky now. right now is way better. Everybody was getting better. Right Pinky, back, Pinky, in right. Pinky back in the day was fire. Pinky right now is also still fire. And it's, it's more stung. like a, no. it's more like a no, swollen ankle right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I feel like she's she's come from a, <laughs> from a <laughs> Pinky to a swollen ankle. ankle. She's like yeah, a broken ankle right now. She's dead fire. she got thyroid. Yo, so whatever she's doing is working. When did? <laughs> Whatever she's doing. Whatever she's doing, two thumbs up, Pinky. Keep, two thumbs keep, up. It, keep it up. Keep it up. A lot of y'all know who Pinky is. A lot of us grew up on Pinky. <laughs> A lot of us grew up on Pinky, dog. Yeah, Pinky. You had Cherokee, Beauty Dior. Was Miss Cleo one of them? I think Miss Cleo was one of them, too. And then um, Roxy Reynolds. Yeah. Probably why a lot of us so messed up in the head now. I'm her personal trainer. Of course I want to test drive the booty after we build it. It's partially mine. I'm her personal trainer. Of course I put my on her when she's squatting. It make her feel safe. Wouldn't want her to fall. I'm her personal trainer. Of course she's drenched after the workout. We f for hours. I'm her personal trainer. Of course I'm glad her man doesn't go to the gym. It gives us more alone time. <laughs> Bro, this man said I want to test drive the booty after we build it. <laughs> I'm her personal trainer. Of course I do house calls, but only when her man's out of town. I'm her personal trainer. Of course the fee went up when she told me her man was paying. I'm her personal trainer. Of course stretching is the most important part of the workout, inside and out. I'm her personal trainer. Of course I say suggestive to make it sound professional. I only do this job for I'm her personal trainer. I'm basically just a side dude that you pay for. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. My woman would not be having no personal trainers. Call me what you want. Call me insecure. Call me, yo, I done heard too many stories on both sides. Because I got friends that are personal trainers. <laughs> and I know a few people that lost their women to personal trainers. Shit. <laughs> it ain't funny. I shouldn't be laughing. I had a co-worker who, him and his girlfriend, signed up to LA Fitness. 
The guy who showed them around LA Fitness became his girl's personal trainer and started knocking them cheeks down. It took him like a month and a half. It took him a month and a half to start clapping my coworkers' girlfriend's cheeks after they signed up at the gym. It was all smiles after Barb Reddick and her nephew Tyrone McGinnis picked up their big win, $1.2 million Chase the H jackpot. But it didn't take long for things to turn sour when both were handed separate checks for $600,000. JCH winners is going to court. I'm taking them to court. It was my ticket. Why is that? Why? Hey. Because I bought, I bought the ticket. And now he's trying to lie and say, we. I said split. I said split with the 50-50, not with no JCAs. I'm taking them to court. I'm getting my lawyer tomorrow. Both names are on the winning ticket. Riddick says she only agreed to split the consolation prize and not the jackpot if the ace was drawn. I put his name on the thing I told him for good luck. Now he's lying. It was all smile. Money would really expose a person's true character. Now this is one particular situation, the lottery. But another particular situation is usually a death in the family. You know, let's say a parent dies. Now, the children are fighting over whatever is left. They're fighting over the house. They're fighting over a bank account. They're, they're fighting over land. And instead of mourning that person, they're left fighting over the assets. I'm telling y'all, bro, money be bringing out the evil in people. Girl, you sit down. Hell yeah, what's up? Let me tell you. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, I was not expecting. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that, bro. That shit made a guest appearance. Like. You know, I seen my little friend last night. You know, he came over here and motherfucking have you doing some shit that I have. <laughs> <laughs> Never did before. This gonna be hurt tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my. Why I gotta start off like that, son? You already know where she going with this. It's finna be a whole red lobster meal. You already know where she going with this. Girl, did you know he pulled up with some motherfucking shrimp scallops? No. Girl, I think he come over here with some lobster legs, some lobster tails, <laughs> some something. Girl, he came over with some body Yeah. Girl, he pulled that thing out and that shit was just like a fucking shrimp scallop. Girl, I said, who you think you is? The bad thing about this is that ladies, men can't change that. If that's what you're born with, that's what you're born with. On the flip side, some of you be walking yourselves into them type of situations. We seen her at the beginning of the clip. Ain't no way you think that you finna come over there with no five and under situation. You're not finna go over there with no five and under situation trying to handle her. Because it's still an excess layer of... Ch Yeah, chill out. Yeah, chill out. You know what I'm saying? If I start if I start explaining this, it's gonna sound like something else. But it's a lot of real estate that you have to walk through before you get to the front door. It's a lot of it's a lot of backyard back there. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of front yard back there too. And I'm be honest with you fellas, women like it when you can walk through the house. Some of y'all can only make it past the coat rack. You were in a tan one the other day. No, was it? Why are you videoing me? I'm videoing you too. Huh? I just want to record. I just want to record you plugging it up. Doing what? Plugging it up. Who said I was plugging it up? That's what you're doing. You don't know what I'm doing yet. You, I got it in my hand. I you, ain't said I'm doing. You think it's stolen and then it's not. Uh, 
Huh? You think it's stolen and it's not? No, I think it's got a tag on it that ain't supposed to be on it. The hood, the the, the motor right there. It go it goes to this bin. No kidding, the motor's right there. I can see it. You ain't got a hood on it, Tim. <laughs> That's a plug. Yo, that pimp, that pimp came out kind of hard. Like he wanted to say something else. <laughs> he wanted, to, yo, that pimp, that pimp sounded like the N word, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, with with the Mopars, because I think that's a challenger. If the police pull me over and they're going that hot on my car, I'm cool with that, cause that's my car. And if somebody was to steal my car, I would want them to do the same thing so they can catch the f thief. Y'all gotta pick y'all battles wisely, man. You know what type of car you in, dog. We had an accident while playing around with Bayou Top Golf, which I must say I am usually dialed in, especially from 300 yards plus out. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, that is the stupidest shit ever. However, the shot did get away from me. Luckily, we had a film boat nearby. Get her out! 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 She actually hit her head twice. Oh, Thankfully, a quick, zesty film covered all medical expenses. We had. Alright, they gotta be fake. There's two reasons why I think it's fake. They look like they're acting, but the, the other reason and the main reason is nobody can be that stupid. Nobody can be that stupid. So I noticed that every time my phone rings, my boyfriend phone rings. And I'm thinking it's just a coincidence or something. But once I answer my phone, his phone stopped ringing. Until I told my sister to call my phone. And at the same time she called my phone, his phone rung again. And it was my sister. So... Tell me why this man got the calls on my phone going to his phone. Oh, like, is he forwarding no. my calls to his phone? How was that happening? Bro. Um, is he still your boyfriend? He he better not still be your boyfriend because that right there is serial killer behavior. The, huh? Please tell me what's that about. Please tell me what's that about. Serial killer activity. Do that in the first place. I told him to turn it off, but he won't turn it off, and I'm going to get upset. Now he's gone to work, and I can't even be sneaky no more. <laughs> never mind, y'all. I'm never sneaky. <laughs> but for real, talking about invasion of privacy. Dang! I thought he trusted me. Where is the trust? Where is the love, honey? If you have a man that has, if you have a person, not even a man, if you have a person, whether it be a girlfriend, boyfriend, whether you straight or you crossing the street, if your significant other has the capabilities to do that and they actually cross the line of scrimmage and do that, forward your calls to their phone, that's a problem. You should leave them where they at. That right there is a recipe for disaster. That is a precursor to something much worse. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful when people going in like that because a lot of times they have a guilty conscience. They might be doing something or be thinking about doing something, and they going through your shit to justify their badass thoughts or their bad action. 